Central Kenya depended on coffee for income. That is until prices plummeted and what was known as the black gold turned into a curse of sorts. Then a research firm introduced a high yielding fast maturing banana that is helping eliminate poverty in a region where people had resigned to hopelessness. Sarakimani reports on the tissue culture banana, the wonder crop of Central Kenya. Monday morning in Moranga, central Kenya. The chirping of birds only interrupted by this. The now all too familiar sound of the machete hitting against banana plants. It's harvest day here. These are the converts into the growing of banana variety known as the tissue culture banana, TCB. This is uh, scientifically done, virus indexed, high UD disease resistant and uh, the other thing is they are fast maturing and they grow in big the bunches are big you get uh, on average 35 kilos just as Kimani started growing the crop in 2009 three years after the kenya agriculture research institute curry started working with an ngo africa harvest what started as an experiment is now the family's main income earner before I was growing coffee, but then I found it, you know, I started growing bananas. So I approached the coffee. Yeah. Why did you approach? The coffee had no market, but bananas are doing quite well, quite well financially. On Tuesday morning, Kimani and several others come to the market. What we do here, we grade the bananas. After grading, we weigh them and um, uh, according to the orders that we, we, we've gotten from Nairobi and other markets. The trading centers have cut the middleman, often seen as exploitative. When we came in, what we did was to introduce structured mm, trading. And the way we structured the market was uh, organize the farmers, organize the trade, uh, sell by kilo, by weight, <clears throat> rather than eyeballing and haggling the whole day. Put it on the scale. And then we agree what is the price per kilo. In the late 80s and early 90s, wild coffee prices plummeted, turning farmers like Emani behind me into paupers. With the introduction of the tissue culture bananas, their fortunes are now turning. Research indicates that the average hectare yield for tissue culture bananas is 30 to 40 tons, earning more than $100,000, almost twice the yield from normal breeds. At least you can harvest even twice a month or once a month. So with an income of, uh, let's say, from 20000 and above, you find that now poverty is not an issue. So you find that uh, you can be able to educate your children. We pay them through the bank and they are now able to access bank loans. We have seen a revolution, a banana revolution. The incomes have improved. Farmers are doing farm, farming now as a business. In 2000, world leaders set themselves a goal of reducing extreme hunger and poverty by the end of this month. Nearly 70% of Africa's rural population rely on agriculture for economic sustainability and agriculture remains the backbone of most of the continent's economies. Fifteen years down the line, the results are grim. The continent will not meet that goal. What could leaders have done better? If you want to pull people out of poverty, focus on agriculture, but what do the farmers need? They need access to inputs, improved seeds, access to fertilizers and uh, other agronomic practices. They need technologies and they need uh, uh, extension. Moranga's tissue culture banana farmers are testimony. It can be done. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Moranga, Kenya.